first recording. Yeah, man. Happy with it? Yes. Sir. All right. Hello, everybody. My name is Bart. Um, I would like first to thank Rosie for giving us this opportunity for making this real-life client project. It's a bit too much, but on the other hand, we need to start somewhere, and this is a, we already felt this pressure. Good, good. <laughs> so I'll try not to be nervous, and i try to give you an indication of how I see um, the idea of putting a saucy salsa in a packaging and adding a bit of value to it. Um, as we mentioned before, um, the target audience is 55 plus, but we can say it's lower, higher, mostly educated people, intellectually stimulated, basically people who have money or are willing to spend a bit more yes. to the cooking experience. Therefore, I've been creating packaging um, that is going to speak to two different uh, sectors of the audience. A bit older people, I bespoke 55 plus. Plus, I was also lowering it to make it for younger people more exciting. Because I think the um, Canary Islands and the history around it, surrounding it, is quite exciting for everybody. So, um, if we speak about the uh, design, the structure, I chose a, com um, a packaging in a form of a tube. It's not very complicated if you speak about the structure, but from the viewpoint of practicality, it's very useful. It's very stable. Huh? I mean, most of the uh, hostel tubes are having, I think, three GS GSM, um, uh, three millimeters in thickness, which is basically giving the uh, source um, that is put in a glass a quite safe um, environment. It's not going to break so easily. Uh, the other aspect is that a tube, to manufacture a tube, it's, it's not ex as, uh, as expensive as I thought it would be, actually. I've contacted a few companies that are just creating tubes. It wasn't easy because most of them didn't want to talk to me because I was a student, so I started to lie and saying that I'm a real company, which resulted in getting, actually, at one point, a real contract, which I needed to explain that I don't want to buy anything yet. But I got really good information about it, but I'll come to it later on. Um, I would like to speak first about how the product will turn out. And I mentioned before, I've decided to make two designs. Most of the people like one, which is the uh, more fresher aspect of putting a bit more life into the um, La Saucy Salsa. It, 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 it was supposed to be related to the lid, which is black yes. and yellow. Yes. And we had to connect it, obviously. We cannot just make something that no, we think is really ex exciting. It needs to co be connected. I might be give it to you so you can no, touch fantastic. it. Because okay. Fantastic. I have an idea. That's brilliant. I just thought it's going to speak also um, to a younger audience. Yes, completely. It, if you notice, the uh, surrounding surface is having a lot of crazy uh, um, drawings and you have also a bit of history in it, like the ship, which is a reference to Christopher Columbus yes. traveling to the Canary Islands on the way to the New World. I think it's really nice to put this excitement into the product. This is something which mostly sells. Um, I think many alcoholic beverages always use this, like, um, I forgot the name of it, but it was like, uh, the Kraken rum, for example, you have like the mythology surrounding it, and you have the image of the Kraken, and then you have this shape of the bottle bit, which may reference to the old times of the 17th, 18th century, or the pirates even. I want to actually put something that will make people happy or excited about the product. And um, I also went a bit, um, on the beginning, I was mostly looking for the older audience, and basically, I was looking for a bit history in a Spanish, um, I, I, I'm really bad in, in English, but um, like Christopher Columbus, like people were traveling and looking for different lands and trying to um, exchange trade and um, just, it was, it was a big boom I think back then. And transportation back then had also its minuses and pluses. It was mostly about packaging and how we can travel through the sea and keep the product safe. Uh, we had um, barrels, forges, and also we had cans. And Spain, I think, 
had a really long history in uh, ha having co containers that are made out of, uh, out of metal. And this is something really exciting, but I think it may reference the um, La Salsi Salsa. This design is not as exciting as but the ones with the as black good. one. They're, I think they're all brilliant. brilliant. Um, of course, the black one will also have a different version, which is going to be probably black and green, the same one as here, yes. um, cardboard yeah. and uh, red. Yes. To yeah. put two different jars with two different sources, yeah. we can also, uh, we can go even more crazy. But I think for now, it's just an indication in which direction I would go, basically. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Um, so it takes two jars, yeah. Two jars, exactly. Yeah. I thought like four jars would be for cannot really save. Store. No, 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 exactly. Yeah. Especially the yeah. can, I need to mention that there's um, a big minus. Yeah, actually. and not everyone wants four jars, sometimes they want just the two, you know, so, you know, yeah. really, really good. And it's, I think one jar was four pounds, if yes. you yes. put yeah, four exactly. jars, yeah. 60 pounds plus the yeah. can. Yeah. Plus, it's the big minus about the can, and maybe the only minus is that you need to stock it one on, on, on top of each other. Yes, yeah. And they're made of glass. You can put something between, like a cardboard. Yes. But from the aesthetic point of view, it might not look so exciting when somebody puts it out. No, like exactly, yeah. yes. It's not a cheap product, isn't yes. it? No, exactly, yeah, yeah. Um, I've been, um, because I'm going again crazy, I lose the track of what I'm saying, but I've been researching many companies, and I was looking for getting a really cheap outcome in the form of tube, yeah. and get the best result from it. So I was asking, also in my designs visible that I've been using only two colors usually. Um, it's going to save money, but yeah. we can get also a really good effect. Really more colors will cost more money. Yeah. If we're going to print maybe a quantity of 5,000 or 2,000, yeah, yeah, exactly. one tube will cost basically one pound 20p. I think they look really classy, fantastic. Um, there's one thing I want to mention, the uh, old, the vintage tube, let's call it the vintage tube. Yes, yes. I've sprayed the lid Right, as a reference, but it's going to be an aluminium okay. um, lid. Yeah. I thought it's going to put a bit more of aesthetics yeah. to the yes. tube. Yeah. The uh, more fresher design actually doesn't need to have it because, it, yeah, it, and you can put a sticker on the top and it looks good, I think, as it looks. However, the lid, the aluminium lid, it's going to not increase so much in the price, so we can think about it. It's going to be a tube if you use the aluminium uh, lid, it's going to be 20p more, which is not as much, yes, yeah. and the value on the shelf will increase dramatically. Completely, it will charge more. <laughs> exactly, so that's good. Plus it looks like a wine. Uh, yes, it does, it does. Yes. It looks really classy, it looks fantastic. It will maybe overshadow the other sources on the shelf. <laughs> well, that's what we want. <laughs> that's exactly what we want. Brilliant. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, I think I covered most of the uh, aspects of the um, sources also. And um, if I would have the um, choice, because this is it's going to be your choice, where you would like me to go with this yes. design. Yes. Um, if I would have the choice, I would go with the black and the yellow. It's just because most of the people surrounding me were happy to actually, they actually understood the excitement of, yes. of, the, of the packaging. Yeah. If, if it speaks to them, I think that the uh, I like the ball. <laughs> I like the ball. You can get the ball for free. <laughs> so we have to have a look at that. Yeah. Um, I think I covered maybe uh, the bottom aspects. Um, I I've like the history. I like you incorporating all of that because that is part of the history, isn't it? That's what we're talking about. Yes, we're talking yes. about generations. And it's old. interesting too. Yeah, well, it is interesting, isn't it? And also, we're talking about we're, we're trying to draw on the fact that it's traditional, it's authentic, there's a lot of history to it, and the boat, you know, that really brings it in. And this lovely design as well, you know, mm. fantastic. It's got the regal kind of quality to it, isn't it? It's really just, uh, it's mm. brilliant, really, really good, very high standard. What people didn't like about the uh, vintage tubes is that it was too calm. If you're going to put it on a shelf, it might actually, you may go next to it and not really notice it. Yes. Whereas the uh, black and the yellow one, it, yes. it, it bites you in yes. the face, it's like, oh, look that's at me. They all do. For different people, you see, as you say, it's going to attract different people. Yeah, that, that's what we're wanting, so yeah. I think, brilliant. Um, I think I covered most of the points. Um, I'm happy to answer really everybody's questions now because I don't want to improvise too much. <laughs> Very good. In terms of for the course, yes. what we really need to do is, and I appreciate your really, really positivity, um, but we've got to give some 
feedback. I guess some feedback on any areas so that Bart can go away over, over the next week and, it's not going and go, right, this yeah. needs to change, that needs to change. Yeah. Which is tough because you're put on the spot yeah, like, straight uh, David, away. David will do that. I mean, certainly, I mean, I, I think as it is, it's really, really good. Obviously, this bit here, you just stack it on for now. Yeah, it will be all on one. Yeah, 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 exactly. So, in terms of that, um, we'd have to fit the barcode on. That's the only thing we'd have to fit in. The barcode. Um, we've got the nutritional details here, uh, which is fine. Yeah, not the real one, of course. No, 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 exactly. Um, in terms of what we put on there, we could just fit the small one. I don't know if we'd have to fit a, a slightly bigger. We've got to put the um, rate down, or just 100 grams. 100 grams, I think, should just be fine. So I'd have to check that as well. Um, but no, I, I think obviously the room for the barcode. The thing is, in terms of giving uh, constructive criticism or whatever, I think it's so good. That, um, think of think of other products. Can you think of anything that it reminds you of? Wines and things like okay. that. Okay. Yeah. But then again, but that's a good connection. That's a good because connection. Because you want that to be eaten with, with, Spanish, with wine, yeah, exactly. you know, nice Rioja or whatever. Yeah, so in terms of things like that, that would be quite good because, of, yeah. Exactly. How close is it getting to, and I'm going to drop the word in there. Pringles. <laughs> Pringles. You can think about that, but again, you could go well with Pringles. So, yeah, yeah you know, I think, yes, it looks like Pringles, but it, it still. So looks it's kind of meeting. Both markets, well, for you. Yes, okay. it is. Good, yeah, good, it good. is because you know Pringles. Yeah, you'll, you know, you'll think about oh, have some sauce sauce with that. I just think it's good. Is um, it? Is it Spanish enough? Oh, Spanish is enough. Is it? I mean, the design's fantastic. Flamenco enough? Yeah. Is it talking about eating together and enjoying? Had a bit of olé I think that's that's brilliant. Uh, the sauce sauce. <laughs> you thought of that on the first day and stuck with it. Yeah, no, which is, which is great. Yeah, that's brilliant. And again, I think David will be very impressed as well. Um, obviously, you've got the logo, logo there. You, you haven't got as much of the flamenco on this one, no. but that one's not so much of a problem because here you're talking about something else and you're coming at it from a different angle. So the history perspective. Do you think when they pull the jars out, there's going to be enough relationship? Well, I think just see the salty salsa. Because these would these would be questions that I would ask if yeah, it was right. my product. Yeah, okay, that, that's right as well. I suppose they're thinking maybe where's the girl or something. Because, but then you're creating a different product, aren't you? So this is the thing. Um, with that. Is it a different there, product though? So yes, it's, it's it's the same product, but is it is it looking like a different product than I suppose in keeping with the brand? I think the writing's very good, and all the the, the designs here. Uh, and oh, sorry, <laughs> dropped the whole thing. And the chili. But I think, no, I think it's a lovely addition to it. Okay. I think it's a nice compliment because I want something slightly different, don't I? I'm targeting slightly, you know. Oh, I forgot some questions. Um, we could also split something inside, like a bit of story. History. Yes. Yeah. In the vintage one, I chose a map just yes. to cover so, and maybe you can make a map which is going to track the ships that they were traveling from Spain to Canary Islands and from Canary Islands to. Uh, USA, America, and I feel like uh, there's a lot of space still in the tube, which is a minus. Yes. But yeah. we can increase it, of course, by giving different dimensions to the company, and they will cut it. But if you're gonna make a bit more space, you can also put a bit of history of your family. Yes, um, you can put inside. some of the flies in there, couldn't we? Mm -hmm. uh, all I'm thinking of is how much space is there? Because obviously with it banging around. That's a good point. Um, so we're going to have a look at, and it will scuff, having one on top of the other will scuff it a little bit. Will. So we'll have to look at, I'd have to put something in between it and I wonder what I could put in there. Well you can you can buy, it looks like, kind of looks like corrugated cardboard, okay. but you can get it in different colours. So yeah, you can yeah. get it in like the Bright same yellow black or something. Yeah, well, that or, would be or good. white. Yeah. And it's quite normal to have that. You would have to, yeah, you'd have to. You'd get some yeah. 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 inside. I'm so, sure it wouldn't detract from it. No, it wouldn't. Exactly, exactly. So that would be the, uh, the only thing. Um, let's just see how it does go. How do you feel about people opening it? How do they get it out and will it fall on the floor? That's obviously something that we've got to think about as well, yeah. I mean, it could be better because they have to buy another one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> or are they um, really annoyed? It, they might not how, like Yeah, some people might not how like do you it. Feel about that? I was thinking that you can get some like card padding that can fit it well and it will easily slide out because you can get that quite a lot. You know when they got that sort of pattern, they sort of yeah. go in like that. Yes, yeah, around it, you can put it, it yes. Be yeah, like a yeah. If you're 70 and you suffer from slight arthritis, yeah, you have a problem. Yeah, you have a problem. Yes, but yeah. we, I thought like this is a big minus, yeah, but most of the, some of the wine tubes are having the same issue. 
and people don't seem to actually stop buying those because of the And Pringles, I mean, how many people buy Pringles? They used to and they get crushed anyway. Pringles yeah, are quite yeah, light. Yeah. 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 I don't think I'm a fighter in Pringles. No, 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 that's true, that's true. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, maybe that's can't. stereotyping. They're not breakable, whereas uh, glass is... Yeah, this, one this, could, yeah, this could fall out. I think that's put down to the Yeah, 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 completely, yeah. So we've got to bear all this in mind. Um, but I think it's very... I do quite like it. I like this concept. I think it's quite different. You know, it's quite creative, and that's the, the thing. I suppose whoever buys a tube, you know, um, you can still make a box that stands upright. Yeah, that doesn't open in that way. That looks quite similar. It's yes, quite similar. yeah, that's right. Well. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Might right. need yeah. exploring. Yes, okay. yeah, yeah, possibly. I might try to make a box for this kind of thing. Yeah, that might be worthwhile looking at. It's why a tool bag. You're not so sure like you. Choose, you? I'm, yeah. I'm a little bit concerned about the yeah, breakage it's getting it out, aspect. Yeah, the, thing, the gland, it does, it will, it can slip out quite easily, I suppose, and also they get it out. I mean, I, I like the tube, but again, let's see what a tall box might look like as well. Have an idea. Yeah. I do like the tube too. Make a make one like Ollie says that that has the right shape and form that you would expect to go into manufacture to see that sliding mechanism, maybe it needs some instructions, maybe it needs a warning, like, yeah. be careful when, you know. Yes, it might need a warning with the glide gas. Yeah, but that's all right, on the lid, a little, yeah. you know, yeah. shampoo yeah. says don't put it in your eyes, like, yes, yeah, it's yeah. kind of obvious, but it does say it on yeah. it, yeah. yeah. Just be careful on how you pour it out, exactly, you do have to have these things written on there. So yes, we'd have to put something like that. Again, I mean, hopefully most people have got common sense, but not everyone not everyone has, and so how people sure. get it out, you just don't it's know. It's just sort of health and safety. It is health and safety, so, yeah, 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 so. yeah. But really, really good work, you know. And yes, with that kind of angle, we'll have to have a look at and sit again, we'll see what David thinks, because again, he's very good at all this. So, uh, uh, but certainly, very good starting point. Um, We're going to have to move yeah, on move in terms of time. Yeah. Thanks ever so much for us. Well, the same button. Sure the same button.